Hey guys and welcome back. Today's video is going to be a tutorial and a review on the NYX Ultimate Palette. I have it here in Warm Neutrals. Now I know this product isn't just released, but it is newer on the market, so I figured why not do kind of a review and see if it's worth the $17.99 that it's priced at. Now according to the website, this is one of four different palettes that they've come out with. There's also Smoky and Highlight, Cool Neutrals, and Brights. Now this palette comes with 16 different shades ranging from mattes to satins to shimmers to metallics. I'll go ahead by starting out with swatching each shade for you guys so you can get a feel for what the pigment looks like. Then I will do this quick eye look, which is also kind of like a fall look since we are into September. And then at the end, I will give an idea of how everything that I use today on my eyes blended. If these are the kind of videos you like, please give a thumbs up as well as please subscribe to my channel. You don't want to miss out on my monthly giveaways. And without further ado, let's get into it. Here's row one. Here's the second row. Here's the third row. Look at those metallics. And the last row. I'm obsessed with this shade. So the first transition shade that I'm going to go in with is kind of like this lighter beige right here. And I'm going to use the Morphe Y19 brush from their Gilded Collection. over the weekend so there was a little bit of a kind of battle wound all right next up using the y19 as well I'm going to go in with this darker orange shade right here and that will be the next transition shade I'm going to be doing this with a really light hand G26 from Morphe, and then I'll buff it out with the Y19. Me drown. Don't let me drown. Don't let me drown. I don't know what it is, but I always have one eye that's easier to blend out than the other. For the lid, I'm gonna go in with this, um, it's a metallic. It's kind of like a pinky, but it has like flecks of maroon in it. It's really beautiful. I thought it would be a good kind of fall look. Now, I have no idea who this brush is by, but this is normally what I use to pack on metallics because it's a lot smaller, as you can see. So it really packs that shade on there nicely. Until you find your way back home. works great for getting really close to those lashes. So first I'm going to go in with my first transition shade, this really light uh, beige color. I can't regret leaving you alone until you find your way back home. Shade and go a little bit closer. 
closer to the eyelashes. Until you find your way back home. And I go about three quarters of the way in for the lower lash line because if you go all the way in, it ends up dragging your eye down and then you kind of just look like a raccoon. And then lastly, I'm going to take that maroon shade and go as tight as I can to the lower lash line, just here on the outer edge. loved this pink metallic shade here. It went on great just with a dry brush, but when I wet it, it went on even more brightly. So I love that about it. I will say that this maroon shade right here was a little bit difficult to blend, but I mean, it, it wasn't horrible. Um, and the other two transition shades that I used, they blended perfectly. Now, since I kind of went for a more fall look, I decided to do a darker lip, which is really out of my comfort zone. But I decided to try this new lipstick from Sleek Makeup. It is their Major Matte Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream. And this one is in the shade Happy. So that about wraps up this video. I hope you found it helpful and maybe you get a better idea of whether or not you'd be interested in purchasing this palette. If you like these kind of videos, please leave a comment down below and I'll do more like this. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.